This is Industry Wednesday. Every Wednesday, we analyze a different industry. 15 things you didn't know about the meat industry. Welcome to ALUX.com, the place where future billionaires come to get informed. Hello, Aluxers. Today, we are savages. The topic we're tackling in this video is both sensitive and vital. We talked about the food industry before. Now we're focusing on the meat industry. Those few major companies that supply the entire world with meat and meat products. Vegans and vegetarians, you've been warned. This billion dollar industry is being ruled by a few stakeholders that produce a variety of meat from multiple animals. Besides the domestic animals humans eat such as chicken, pig or cows, there are also companies that specialize in providing exotic meats. Just to clear things up, seafood is often not classified as meat and neither is fish, but everyone is free to do as they please. Whether you're a meat lover or not, it's a massive industry that's full of dark secrets blood, money, and damage. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. So let's have a closer look and see if it's all so tasty and yummy as some of the products are. Number one, men are more prone to be meat lovers. It's a scientific and physiological fact that meat and men go hand in hand like eggs and bacon. Traditionally, men were always responsible for providing food for the family, while women were in charge of the children and the home. It's in their DNA to provide and like meat, and that hasn't changed over the years. You've probably seen that women are usually more attracted to vegetarian and meatless diets and lifestyles, more so than men. If you look at the marketing campaign and the number of male chefs, you'll see a striking gender imbalance too. Men plus meat equals love. Number 2. The most expensive steak costs $3,200. One of the most favorite meat dishes is for sure the steak. Burgers are up there too, but those who really want to eat the best meat on the market will go for a good old-fashioned steak. Of course, the best meat is Kobe beef grown in Japan. Apparently, the best and most expensive steak comes from France and a small farm. It costs $3,200 and consists of a rib steak that comes from a blonde Aquitaine breed, aged for years in a cold room. Chef Alexandre Palmard puts all his blood, sweat, and tears into it, and it's reflected in the price as well. Number 3. The U.S. produces almost 20% of the world's beef production. America is the country where everything is taken to extreme. As far as the meat industry goes, they're the one country that produces almost 20% of the world's beef meat. In the land of burgers, chicken wings, and steaks, the meat industry is one of the biggest economic sectors, which employs over 6.2 million people. Last year, they produced 2.5 million pounds of meat, even though exports are lower and lower. If they can't sell the meat, it's kept in massive freezers and will end up as pet food because each day it sits on the shelf, the company is losing money. Number 4. Meatless Monday is a world phenomenon for over 15 years. Recent events and the fact the meat industry is such a massive pollution factor has determined people to shift towards meatless diets. Not everyone can give up meat and animal products, so Meatless Monday was born in 2003, an initiative of the Monday Campaigns, Inc., with association of Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health Center for Livable Futures. It's now a worldwide famous phenomenon that promotes not eating meat for a day every week in order to cut down on the carbon footprint and the pollution that producing meat causes to our planet. Number 5. The biggest meat processing company is JBSSA with a market cap of $6.7 billion. Although the USA is producing a massive 20% of the world's meat consumption, the biggest company as sales and revenues go is JBSSA, a Brazilian company from Sao Paulo. They started out in 1953, and nowadays they have as many as 150 industrial plants all over the world and over $51.1 billion in revenue per year. 
JBS operates slaughter facilities, cold storage of cattle meat, meat processing operations for the production of beef, meat byproducts, and canned goods. With a market capitalization of $6.7 billion, they remain the biggest company in this industry. Tyson Food is second, with yearly sales of over $38.2 billion. Number 6. No Deal Brexit Could Raise the Mint's Prices Up to 50% if you're familiar with international politics and news, then Brexit is nothing new under the sun. For those who don't know about it, it's about England leaving the European Union, meaning that taxes, exports, imports, visas, and many other things will suffer. As the meat industry in the UK goes, it's doing very well, leaving the EU without any deals or pacts. It will affect the wages, exports, and prices. Some estimate that minced meat could be up to 50% more expensive as a result of the extreme foreign policies. We bet more and more Brits will turn to the vegan camp. Number 7. Brazil Sold Rotten Meat for Years Worldwide Brazil is home to the biggest corporation in this industry, JBS SA, and also a massive exporter and player on this billion-dollar market. Last year, Brazil's meat industry almost collapsed after an investigation showed that some factories had been selling and exporting rotten meat for years. They used chemicals to mask the odor of rotten meat, and some claim that potato, water, and cardboard were mixed in with chicken meat to boost profits. As you can imagine, after the news broke in the media of Brazil, it was faced with international bans, inquiries, and a bad reputation that cost them billions of dollars. Number 8. It's a dangerous job only immigrants are willing to do. Working in a slaughterhouse is not a fun job. It requires a strong stomach, nerves of steel, and focus. It's also not the best paying job, so a lot of people are avoiding the meat industry. To fill that void, undocumented immigrants are used for these low-wage jobs. This way, they can be paid less money and cut down on the benefits and working conditions. It looks like in some plants, people get hurt every day, and some even lose their limbs. Number 9. There are 700 million vegetarians in the world. We can't talk about meat and animal products without mentioning the other half, vegetarians. The last 20 years have been vital for this growing community that counts at least 700 million people all over the world, which accounts for almost 15% of the world's total population. Since more people stand up for animal rights and more nonprofit organizations try to defend them and promote a meatless lifestyle, their numbers are growing, hurting meat sales, especially in the US and Europe. And because social media is so big, Instagram and influencers are also promoting veganism and sustainability. Furthermore, more men are now attracted to the tasty meatless substitutes. Number 10. The meat industry is worth around $741 billion. Food and farming are the biggest and most important economic sectors. Almost 26% of the world's population works in farming or the meat industry, without mentioning those in the supply chain. The industry is so much bigger than we think it is. Since the entire food industry is worth $1.5 trillion, the meat industry grasps around $741 billion from that huge pie, almost half. The Industrial Revolution changed farming and the meat industry forever, and now more than 170 years later, things are changing again. New generations are harder to crack in the market, and meat doesn't seem to be their main interest, only if it's 100% organic and ethically sourced, something mass farming and giant corporations can't do. Number 11. Lab-grown meat might be the future. If you've ever seen how a slaughterhouse looks like or a poultry farm, you might become a vegetarian too. The newest alternative to meat is lab-grown meat from cells. Yes, no more cattle and chickens running around. 
Not everyone is comfortable with this technique, but it might be the next revolution and the solution to a more sustainable environment. The downside of lab-grown meat is that it requires a lot of energy, which will still also pollute our planet. There doesn't seem to be any clean alternative to meat production, at least not yet. Number 12. The fact they're polluting the planet backfires on them a lot. The food industry, and especially the meat industry, is one of the biggest polluters in the world. They cut down trees to make room for livestock, they use a lot of energy and water to process and store meat, and also leave a lot of waste behind. Because karma's a bitch, and they're contributing to the climate change, bad weather, droughts, and hurricanes are affecting them big time now. The floods caused by Hurricane Florence have killed thousands of animals in America this summer, and as the climate changes, they'll face more and more backfires just like this one. Number 13. A Big Mac should be around $15 if all standards and hidden costs were respected. How come good quality meat is so expensive, and somehow restaurants and fast food chains sell burgers and chicken wings for a few dollars? Because they don't use quality and ethically sourced meat, and they cut all corners possible in the supply chain. If they were to pay all the costs, healthcare bills, subsidies, and environmental damages, a Big Mac at McDonald's would be over $15, instead of $5. Next time you're eating something so cheap it can't be real, it's probably not, and it really does pay to eat real food. Number 14. Horse meat or rat meat often pass as beef. Never trust the label 100% or the marketing. There are so many loopholes in the food and packaging laws that allow companies to hide the craziest things in plain sight. One of the main problems in the meat industry is the fact that the meat is not 100% beef, pork, or chicken. Plenty of studies have shown us that horse or rat DNA was often found in frozen beef burgers. When a similar scandal rocked the UK a few years ago, Tesco, one of the retailers that sold horse meat burgers as beef burgers, lost over $500 million in market value in a matter of months. Whenever meat scandals rise, a lot of money is lost. Number 15. Sergey Brin invested $8.8 .8 million in a lab-grown burger startup. The founders of Google are some of the richest people in the world. They both have around $50 billion each and the mindset to change the world through innovative ideas. Living in Silicon Valley, they are constantly meeting new startups and investing in them. Recently, Sergey Brin invested $8.8 .8 .8 million in a Dutch startup that wants to make lab-grown burgers. Their main focus is to cut down on the process and make a $10 burger with less energy and carbon footprint. As a carnivore species that has been eating all kinds of animals since the beginning of humankind, it's amazing to see how the hunting process for food has changed and how advanced we are today when it comes to feeding 7 plus billion people. Studies show we are currently growing enough food to feed 10 billion, yet people are dying from starvation still. What do you guys think? Where is this industry falling short? Leave us your answers in the comments section below. And since you stuck with us all the way to the end, of course, you get a bonus. Here it is. Number 16. PETA is offering a million dollar prize for artificial chicken. Meatless options are now rewarded by PETA with an annual prize of $1 million. There are a bunch of vegan and vegetarian meats on the market, but most lack taste and texture. In order to push scientists and companies to come up with the best artificial meats, PETA has been awarding $1 million prizes since 2008. However, so far, the million dollar prize for the artificial chicken has been cancelled due to a lack of interest and success. In fact, PETA, which has a revenue of almost $50 million, is the biggest NGO, with over 6.5 million members all over the world fighting for animal rights. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers! Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. 
Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.